everyone, so my final book haul of 2016 is going to be entirely movie themed in one way or another. We have some fiction, then we have the non-fiction and we will start with the fiction. The most visually gorgeous book published in 2016. We have Fantastic Beasts, I have seen the film and loved it. I have now read this and I actually preferred reading the film script to watching it and I think it really enhances the experience. So if you've seen it or you're planning on seeing it, I definitely recommend you read it as well because it's a lot of fun. The next three books I actually checked out of the library in advance of some videos I'm doing in the new year for a new series that I'm doing called Books vs Movies, where basically we can debate books that have been adapted into movies to decide out which one we prefer. So we have Girl Interrupted, which is one of my top five favourite films of all time. So I'm really looking forward to watching this, although it's a bit more YA than I thought. I kind of expected it to be quite a heavy, hard-hitting general fiction adult novel, but it's it's not, so we'll see. Philosopher's Stone, I've read this several times, seen the film more times than I can count, but I thought I would reread it and then watch the film again uh, and kind of have it all fresh in my memory. And then the last one for this series so far is The Maze Runner, which I've never read, never seen, but it's kind of becoming a bit of a YA classic and I don't really like YA that much but I kind of feel like I should read this and check it out and actually see what it's like. So if you do have any suggestions for books and films that I should check out for this series and we can discuss them, I'd love to know what you recommend. The Last Fiction is actually not one that's been adapted as far as I'm aware but this is Night Film by Marissa Pessel and I'm not entirely sure what this is about but I think it's got something to do with a daughter of a director or something who's been murdered. Basically this was mentioned by a few different booktubers on YouTube and after the second time it was mentioned I thought hmm, looks kind of interesting and I'm a huge fan of crime fiction and murder stories and obviously with the cinematic element there I think I'm going to really enjoy this a lot. Final three are all non-fiction and the first one is filmmaking for dummies. I love the dummy series. I've recently read the script writing or screenwriting for dummies and it was really good although it was more about how to structure a story uh, rather than the actual technical aspects of screenwriting which I've, as, a, as an author I kind of already have a lot of experience with developing stories but this one I'm hoping will give me a lot of kind of technical knowledge and improve on things that I've learned so far. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Second last, we'll leave the best one till the end. This is Beginning Filmmaking, 100 Easy Steps from Script to Screen by Elliot Grove. I should point out I have no interest in directing. Like, I, <laughs> this is all just kind of for background knowledge as opposed to actually studying the technical side of filmmaking because I want to do it. Oh, there's a Lego minifigure. But yeah, this looks like a kind of watered down, complete step by step guide to filmmaking and it seems quite easy to read and digest and well laid out so I'm really looking forward to going through this and kind of learning a hundred easy steps. And lastly I haven't read this but I've only flicked through it and it looks incredible. This is Break Into Screenwriting uh, by Ray Frencham and basically it looks like a definitive guide to screenplays. Now I don't know if that's accurate or not because as I said I haven't read it but I'm really looking forward to going through this and it's possible I may actually buy my own copy of this to have as a permanent reference guide. We will see what it's like. Really excited for those books to kind of take me through the end of 2016 and into the new year and I'm very excited for 2017 to start because 2016 has been a little bit appalling and 2017 has a lot of promising things going into it and some pretty promising books to take us over that as well. Do let me know what you're reading just now. If you've read any of those books, let me know your thoughts. And as I said, I would very warmly welcome suggestions for the Books First Movies series and we can get some debates going about those. Um, thank you for watching this video and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.